Okay, let's get the Chronicles part out of the way first, right? Yes, my accent is Italian. Sorry about that, I'll add subtitles in case it's a little thick. Like everyone, I loved stories since I was a kid. Books, movies, video games, you name it. I even faked to be sick for three days straight, so I could read the last Harry Potter book. Maybe a little extreme. Childhood was fragmented between my dad's and my mom's. Dad's a photographer that loved to be a DJ. Mom is from a humble family that used to sing for the local church. But I had a very big group of friends, which in a small town like mine meant pretty much everyone. We had this thing though, that we would constantly tell stories of everything we did, every time more and more embellished, until all you could remember was just the story, not the actual event. Teen years were the norm. In a band of 14, we wrote songs, geeked around. Don't worry, all of this is hiding somewhere on the internet of 2010, in case you want to look it up. I think this is when I started developing my character flow. A deep-seated insecurity, masked by overconfidence. I was always prone to discovering and learning, but unfortunately I had to start working immediately to help support my family. I moved to France, London and Australia to pursue my career in hospitality. This part is kind of boring, so I'm just gonna rush through it and blast some words on the screen for you. Fancy restaurants, fancy hotels, study all day and work all night, lots of weekends and holidays, climbing the ladder, management positions, being in charge of a whole food and beverage hotel department at the age of 21 making me the youngest supervisor in the company. To be honest, I learned a lot from these experiences. These people and the passion they put into the work is just incredible. Having to lead big and diverse teams really taught me to understand other points of view and unite different people under the same roof, so to direct them towards the same goal. But my passion for storytelling never died and I kept writing pages and pages of impossible stories that I would one day tell. Simply, I wanted people to be passionate about the same thing I was. I also kept the tendency to make videos for every occasion. I guess like this one? Two years ago, after sacrificing most of my early 20s, I finally decided to quit my job and focus on my creativity. That brought me to films, the passion I always had and never thought I was allowed to pursue. The combination of visuals, sounds, music, color and rhythm, everything about film says this is how I can truly tell my stories. I founded my own film company with a friend and we have since produced short films that won awards in many film festivals around the world. The highlight? Probably when we got sent to China to represent our short film at a UN conference on climate change, realizing that what we did could really have an impact. Screenwriting courses and books did the rest in exciting me even more about the field. And I'm currently in the production of a new short film I wrote, directed and produced on topics of youth depression, social anxiety and dealing with trauma. Few of the subjects I look forward to explore. And now I'm here, trying to make my story sound great because I'm too scared of accepting otherwise. I guess that is my character journey, and I'm just about to enter Act 3. My name is Enrico, and this is my story. You get it in three minutes? Are we good, or do we need another take?